bigger challenge remains. In New York alone, nearly 40,000 die in one year from diseases. Because of this filth. But one clean crusader is about to change everything. 1895, our major cities are drowning in filth. 120,000 horses dump half a million pounds of manure into the New York streets every day. Wagons are blocked by three foot high piles of human and animal waste. Into this world steps a man on a white horse, Colonel George Waring. Civil War veteran, legendary sewer engineer, apostle of cleanliness. He's the head of New York's sanitation department. The city stinks with the emanations of putrefying organic matter. Black rottenness is seen and smelled on every hand. The crowded streets are a veritable hell. Waring recruits an army of 2,000 sanitation workers in white uniforms. Some dismiss him as a crank. They call his men white ducks, but Waring means business. Tons of garbage, normally dumped into the river, is recycled. Ash becomes landfill on Rikers Island. Organic waste boiled into oil and grease. Waring is America's first eco-warrior. His men clean 433 miles of street. Death rates decline. Water quality improves. Wearing saves the lives of thousands. The measures spread across America. Just 16 years after Colonel Waring, half of all cities have waste collection. And it is not just waste. By 1907, Every large city in the nation has sewers. By 1909, there are 42,040 miles of sewers in America. The battle against filth, crime, and poverty has begun. But one of the city's greatest innovations is still in its infancy. One man will change the urban landscape forever.